If you own some coins and you want to sell them with a take profit and a stop loss at the same time, then at the moment your options are limited. If your coins are on Binance, you can use an OCO order. If they are on a futures exchange, then you can place a take profit and a stop loss order at the same time and use reduce only so that only one of them will execute. But on other exchanges, so all of the other spot exchanges, until now there hasn't been a way of setting up a stop loss and a take profit at the same time for the same coins. We now have a way of doing that and that's what I'm going to demonstrate today. So I have some, I have 100 bell and it's not reserved, it's available. So I'm going to show you how to set up a take profit and a stop loss that don't reserve the coins using our one of our new features. So I can create a limit order for a limit sell order for 100% of the value or however much you want to sell in a single order. And normally if I just place that order it will be immediately opened and we see it down here in my orders with a status of open and the coins are now reserved. So we would not be able to place a stop loss as well for those coins because that also reserves the coins. So what we need to do instead, I'll just get rid of that order what we do instead, I'm going to create a new limit order for 100% and with that I'm going to use one of our new features that's under expirations and auto close and that's this one here, start position at. So it is a little bit like a stop order in that the order won't actually be placed until this price is reached. So. I've got my take profit at 8465 and if I want my order to be a maker order not a taker order so I want it to execute as a limit order then I would want to put my trigger price a little bit below that say around about 61 say so when the price reaches 8461 my limit order will be placed at 8465. So if I create that now, you'll see that the color is slightly different, it's darker because it's a pending order. Here the status is pending and here the coins are not reserved, unlike when we just had a limit order without using start position at. So those coins are still available to be placed in a stop loss order, which is what I'll do next. Now we can't actually use a regular stop order such as a stop market or a stop limit order because that would also reserve the coins and even though we could place that order, our take profit order could never execute because the coins would not be available. So instead we need to use either a regular market or limit order or you could even use a ladder order if you wanted to. So I'm going to place this one as a market order for 100% of the coins again and I again need to use start position at and this time I'm going to place it down here so it will be it will act as a stop loss. And, and place the order. So I'll confirm that one. Now these are two separate orders, they are not linked to each other and whichever one is reached first is the one that will execute and the other one will stay pending and if that price is then reached the coins won't be available so it would fail and you get an error message. So my second order which was the market order is also pending, the same number of coins and as we can see over here the coins are still not reserved. 
So we need to be aware not to place those coins in yet another order, um, perhaps on a different market like Bell BTC, uh, because then these orders would fail. So what will happen here if the price goes down and hits this blue trigger line here, which is our stop price for the stop loss at 5394, if it hits that one, then this market order will be placed. And if it hits this one, then this limit order will be placed. They are two separate orders, so if I want to edit them, well, this one's easy because I could just click on the price handle and I can move those or I can change the amount. But for this market order here, there's no price handle to click on and I have to edit it from here in my orders in the three dot menu and click edit order or cancel order if that's what you want to do. So that's the only way that we can edit this one here because the market order doesn't have a price handle because we don't know what price it will execute at. It will execute as soon as 5394 is reached as a market order. Now when I when I open that one for editing, notice that the place order button is not enabled. And even if I change the position start, it's still not enabled. So I have to click 100% again, and then I can place the order. So there you have it. And we are working on a smart trade option so that it's easy to input the price of the coins you already own and have a position created for that and a managed take profit and stop loss at the same time with all of the features that we offer for those. So this is a workaround that can be used in the meantime. Thank you for listening.